<laughs> I cursed those bears with the little strength that I could muster. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> We're all just hanging out before work. Was there a text chain that I wasn't on? Or? Well, it's not exactly before work. The store opened about 25 minutes ago, so. But yes, there is a chain, and no, you're not on it. You're kind. I noticed we moved the lip balms. Yeah, because we got these new breath mints in. I wanted to give them a fighting chance by putting them up near the cache. Huh. Uh-oh. What is, is something wrong? No, they're just new mints that haven't been sampled yet, so for all we know, they could be poison. <laughs> and we're moving the lip balms, best sellers, all the way to the corner here. Okay, well, I don't think that the mints are poison. They're very delicious. Point is, these are a staple of the store. If they're at the cache, people come to the cache expecting the lip balm. Mm. I just wish that I had been consulted before they were moved. David, you move things without consulting me all the time, like the brooms. Okay, well, they were fugly brooms with big red handles. They didn't match our sand and stone color palette. Well, this is clearly a high-stakes situation, so maybe you want to close the store down and figure it out. You know, David, one of the fundamental pillars of any successful business person is their ability to compromise. Mm, I have to agree with Patrick on this one. I don't think there's anything you have to do. And I compromise all the time. <laughs> What? Nothing. I just, um, just remembering all those times that you compromised. <laughs> I was just thinking about the same things because there, there's so many to <laughs> flip through. Okay, last week, I let you pick the movie we watched. You made me pick between two Sandra Bullock vehicles. And you picked The Lake House, which was the correct choice. Just so that you know, making someone choose between two things that you like is not exactly a compromise. I am fine with compromise. It's just this situation that's bothering me. So why don't we just put everything back exactly as it was and start again? So in that case, I know that you were planning to go pick up the tote bags later this afternoon, even though I'd asked you to do that two days ago. So maybe in the interest of compromise, you could go and, and, and do that now. Fine. Stevie, would you care to join me? No. Fair enough. So you guys are just gonna stay behind and talk about me after I've left, you know? Swap stories about how I don't compromise. Yeah, yeah. pretty much. Mm -hmm.